Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review The Greasy Strangler. Disco's not the only thing dead. Directed by Jim Hosking, starring Michael St. Michaels, Sky Elabar, and Elizabeth DeRazzo, The Greasy Strangler is a very fucked up movie about Brayden and Ronnie, a son and dad who live together and they're awkward as all hell. They run a shitty little disco tour where Brayden ends up falling in love with Janet. Ronnie doesn't really like that and he's trying to get smoothie with her. Uh, he's also the Greasy Strangler, an old nude creepy man who lubes himself up in grease and strangles people. So what do we like? This movie is bananas. Uh, you need to go into this knowing that it's going to be fucked up and well, I didn't love all of the humor, I thought a lot of it was really, really funny because it's just so crazy. A lot of the gags that they use are very awkward shots because the characters are extremely awkward. And they also like to keep all of their jokes on for too long. You're a hootie tooty disco cutie. I'm a hootie tooty disco cutie. Hootie Tootie Disco Cutie! Hootie Tootie Disco Cutie! Hootie Tootie Disco Cutie! Like, I think it's a front runner for taking over worst awkward movie ever, which is Eagle vs. Shark. Do you want cheese on your burger? No thanks. It, it's free too, I'll give it to you, you'll save 60 cents. No thanks, no. Why? You're watching like the father and son, and you can't help but feel entertained, and that's what this movie did. It did a good job entertaining me. I was actually really surprised with how the Greasy Strangler went about killing people. It was enjoyable. I mean, I, I don't really feel like it was good watching a greased up naked man go around strangling people, but the payoff with the kills looked nice. Yep, eyes would pop out sometimes, then he'd eat them. Yeah, there's just a lot of really weird and hilarious moments in this. But it it's not for everyone. <laughs> yeah, no. I also really enjoyed like the tourists. Like the Indian tourist, he was great. I pay a dollar for the chips, the chips get stuck. The manager gets my dollar and I get no chips. I like the ridges. I put the tip of my tongue between ridges because that is where the salty chip dust is. Even the banter between Ronnie and Brayden. Why not put a little grease in your java? Why not try it? I'm such a gross out, Dad. I think I might barf. Well, I'm not saying I want to do it. I just wonder why they haven't tried greasy coffee. It didn't get old. It actually, you kind of looked forward to like the two of them just like going back and forth. Bullshit artist. 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 Surprisingly, I thought the cinematography was pretty decent. The shot types were pretty good, and there are moments where maybe Brayden and Ronnie are talking, and they're just calling each other bullshit artists back and forth forever, and Ronnie keeps walking away, and the camera will track over, and then he'll just, he comes up with a rebuttal, it tracks back, he delivers his insult, and then the camera tracks again. And this goes on for like four and a half minutes, and I just thought it was great. It is an indie movie, but it doesn't look like an indie movie. It looks really nice. I was also very impressed with the editing. I thought the montages of Ronnie cleaning himself at the car wash, though it was the same one over and over and over again, I still laughed every time I saw it. I thought it was well paced and well cut. As awkward and weird as all of our characters were, the acting was pretty good. Like I think people who like love John Heater are gonna like eat these people up because they are like Napoleon Dynamite characters. And while this is slightly off topic, Janet in this movie is actually from Eastbound and Down, and she played a great role there, and she plays almost the exact same role here, and I loved it. Now, what didn't we like? This movie is going to, it made me very uncomfortable, and like it's gonna make a lot of people uncomfortable, and there's lots of sex and prosthetic dicks, and like, they're crossing a lot of lines. It's uncomfortably awkward. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of dicks, there's a lot of fart jokes. There's just a lot of stuff in this movie that's over the top for most audiences. And I know that that's what they're trying to do. It's just, it's worth pointing out. It's intentionally pushing buttons. Well, I did enjoy most of the humor. There are points where you get tired of certain gags, and some of them work, some of them don't. Hootie tootie disco cutie! Hootie tootie disco cutie! I think the concept with the greasy strangler 
wasn't explored well enough. Like, you're not supposed to take this serious. You need something there to give reason to this. And you don't get it, but you're expecting it. Yeah, there's absolutely no reason why he greases up and goes and kills people. There's no closure. The ending kind of sucks. And you just, <laughs> you just have no idea what's going on in these people's lives by the end of the movie. You're just like, okay. Whatever. Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. The Greasy Strangler is not for everybody, but I think it's for me. It was a pretty fun time. I really enjoyed myself while watching it, even though I hated myself for enjoying watching it. And I think a lot of people are gonna be like that. This isn't gonna make my top movies of 2016 list, but it was a really fun time and I think a lot of people and our audience, I think, would enjoy this movie. But you should probably be stoned or drunk. The acting was really well done, the cinematography is pretty solid for an indie flick, and the comedy, while it doesn't hit all the time, it lands probably 9 out of 10 times, to be honest. So yeah, I'd recommend this, but it's not a great movie. I don't know, I'm- whatever. I'm giving this three plates of cheese puffs out of five. Everyone needs to see this movie purely on the awkwardness. It's just one of those things that you could sit around the table afterwards and talk about how awkward this movie was. I'm also gonna tell you, this is not a good movie. It's enjoyable, but it's too weird for most people. And it pushes a lot of buttons, it just crosses a lot of lines, and it's very repetitive in nature, so it can get boring. It's entertaining, and it's a good film to talk to your friends about with, with it being extremely awkward, so go check it out on its awkwardness. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this two family portraits out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the Greasy Strangler. And if you do wanna check it out, there are links in the description where you can find it. And this is your first time here, and this is the video that you stumbled upon to find us. That's kind of weird in itself and a little bit awkward, if I'm being <laughs> honest. Anyway, subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything Bloodbath and beyond.